Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play in the Space 2. Again, you guys uh, have put a lot of information in those comments, and uh, thank you a lot for that. Um, where do we start first? Well, we need to address this pirate situation, but as I said last turn, we're going to wait three turns before the fleet appears. I mean, just one turn before the fleet appears, we're going to start the ground invasion, because they do have uh, quite formidable defenses. Currently more manpower than we have. So uh, that's gonna be fun. I also don't know what kind of fleet they will spawn. I hope it's go not gonna be... Um, it's not gonna be the bigger ship class, because that's gonna be a problem to handle here. Uh, we can't really repair, we can't... So yeah, let's just uh, hope and pray. That's always, that's always worked out, right? So, um... There's that. Then... Oh, we're gonna get one population next turn. You know what? I'm actually gonna... postpone this, um, because next turn we're gonna get... Yeah, we're gonna get one population. Uh, wait. Huh? So this is three. That's weird. So if you put the chain gang here, it's gonna... I don't get it. Let's just try it out, because I really need manpower, and the system here is not that productive anyway. So uh, I guess we'll just... Until we have the xenotourism industry and some other... Well, there's not much we can do to make it more productive at the moment. Uh, once we got tech to colonize these planets here, It'll become a lot more relevant, but for now, let's just uh, use it as a... Uh, what you call that? Fresh meat pool? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe somebody finds a friendly term for that. Um, gene pool? Anyway, we're gonna recruit our manpower in here. And uh, that is gonna be... It. Oh, also, I discovered uh, that probably... I'm the only person to discover that, everybody else knows, but uh, there is a special... What you call that ability um, diplomatic option that you can get from each of the minor races once you're friendly or have better relations with them, which apparently is this year, and uh, then I can have them migrate one of their population to my system, so uh, to my closest system rather, and uh, these guys will um, development grants. They will. Increase yields and give yields. I'm guessing these are the yields. Um, and they will give me access to its faction trait, which are the ship builders and ship builders? Ship builders and uh, pragmatists. So that does sound kind of useful. So let's uh, praise them for a little extra so we can get there fast. And, uh, you guys... Uh, oh, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's only 40. Ah, what the hell, let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, we, we lose, like, we could have waited the five turns plus two, so we lose, technically we lose ten... Um, ten influence, but... Because now we only extended by 5 turns for 40, and then now we gain plus 4 per turn, so we could have had whatever. It's not the f most efficient, is uh, the short version of that, but I do want them to uh, be more friendly, because I do want their foreign core. That sounds like manpower to me, right? Using a unit population from this minor civilization system, blah blah, train a task force, you will be able to use as mercenary. So that does sound like just plain old manpower. Because these guys do give extra manpower. Uh, brr, what else? Not really much. I didn't also find out um, how manpower exactly affects my ship's effectiveness. It does. And uh, in the comments, that was confirmed as well, so thanks very much for that. Uh, huh. Okay, hold that thought. Uh, anyway, we can finish that thought and then uh, go on to the next. So thank you very much for that. Um, 
Just I didn't find out how exactly, but uh, maybe one day. So we got the Seeker, which I think they are pretty good fleet commanders. Yeah, Seekers are pretty damn good fleet commanders. If I knew how bad, like, isn't this... Am I, am I the only one? When you read Guardian, you hear uh, focus on fleet warfare and production. So I thought, okay, I put these guys, this guy on my ship. But they are actually not great commanders. They don't have many uh, skills that help you with their ship. But they have a lot of skills that help you improve your systems. So... Well, I guess they have overall kind of weird. Yeah, it's it's more towards Hang on. Hang on. What? Ooh. Okay, so we can choose an objective for random technology. Um and I'm like either we assign a hero on three systems, which I currently only have three heroes once I choose the one. Or we get the happiness above 60 on three systems. And uh, these are my, not core, but Octans here and Arcturus. Uh, 80, 100, and 72. Yeah, so they are already inside the range. So I think we're gonna take this for random technology. Thank you very much. That's gonna be a reward next turn. Uh, we gain population here. That's great. We finished the chain gang. Ah, oh, yeah, so now we got some extra... Yeah, that worked out nicely. So we got some extra manpower, and now we still have three population. Just the way I had this planned, so uh, that is great. Um, also need to start the scouting. I got reminded that we uh, could use the probes to actually scout the anomalies on these systems, but I highly doubt that we'll find any unexplored anomalies, just because it's late in the game and the AI probably already discovered most of these anomalies, but thanks for the tip anyway. Um, I didn't take that that serious, so uh, the the anomaly discovery. Guess we could go this and this general direction and then go here maybe. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so um, anyway, what I wanted to check is user. You don't have these skills. Oh, you do. Okay. But I think the Seeker is the better... Way better uh, fighter. And the Guardians are just... Hmm. Ah, sorry guys. <laughs> Need some tea to oil my throat. Um... Guardians are just interesting for production, though. So we have two skills for production here, one there. Approval. What's the Seeker's planetary management skills? Because uh, we do need more science output, for sure. Not so much, actually. Not so much. They're pretty damn good commanders though vision range oh more vision range more movement speed nice so that's influence and science and then that's gonna be more influence and approval hmm not really what I need actually but uh, I guess we'll we'll take the scientist guardian. I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Labor skills, wit. Oh, that sucks. They're all not really what I need. 
Not really what I need. That's one per planet. I guess we can get these two. Yeah, I guess we get the, the Seeker. So, uh, let's get you. And let's see, which system... Octans already... Yeah, I guess we put you here. Because this here needs to be built up ASAP. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Okay, you come here. And uh, we also should give you some skills. Uh, maybe we start out with the productivity one. Where is that? There you go. Grow the system just a tad faster. There we go. So that one is done. Um, invasion next turn. This is that. I guess. Oh, we also need. Um, I think. Yeah, we need to get another tech. Well, we'll just, let's just wait and see what the random tech is we get before we actually assign one. Hmm. Machine bacteria. Well, that's kind of useless. We can call nice deeps now and get better support, better probes. Which, well, I guess it's not useless. Uh, well, let's first send my scouts around. Hello there. Mm, all just small ships. Okay, that's good. Oh, there's a pirate layer. And these guys are traveling somewhere. <laughs> Don't know where. Um, yeah, next turn they're gonna come up, so we do need to start that invasion. We're a little bit behind in terms of manpower, but I think because you can use against the pirates, we don't need to watch out for um, preserving any structures. We can just use the preemptive bombing and that should give us the edge. Let's just fight. Yeah. I guess that went well. 50 population death, 50% improvement destruction, but we got a lot more damage. And uh, yeah, we don't really care because we can't overtake pirate bases. At least, maybe there's a tech somewhere down the line, but uh, as far as I'm aware, you cannot overtake them. So, good. That's going on. Um, right, tech. Tech, tech. Okay, so we got the machine bacteria. Well, that wasn't really something I needed, but um, we can six turns. So, these here are bit expensive yet. We can go for Colonized Baron and the Spin Project. I think I want both, honestly. Um, maybe also want... Yeah, because we already have a decent amount of... Well, actually, we have all the easily affordable... Uh, what's it called? Economy and Trade Tax. Uh, we have all the Science Trade Tax. So I think we'll just go for these two. They're fast enough with two turns and four. Um, so two turns each. And the spin project's gonna be useful. Actually, let's just do it this way. I'm not gonna build any spin projects. Um, it's gonna be useful. Hmm. It's gonna be useful to build on planets that uh, do not qualify for any other specialization. And colonizing Baron is just uh, more planets we can colonize, so there's that. Anything to do here? Not really. Can we... I guess next turn we can. We could go for selective migration, but... Meh. So far... Oh, nice. Fleet of four. Okay, so let's first go for the ground battle. Again, preemptive bombing, because I uh, do not care about preserving any structures. And there we go. It's slowly giving us the edge. And... That's nice. Power to the shields or turtle? I guess we'll go with turtle. 
Hopefully do some damage on these guys, but... Sure, that was nice. Grave defeat. So my entire fleet is dead. Um, that didn't go too well. <laughs> uh, huh. Maybe these guys... Yeah, that looks like an okay fight. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, uh, that wasn't planned. I thought we might at least uh, get some of them. One more kill or two? Jesus. That was rough. What's that here? Colony? Oh! Da! <laughs> I didn't expect that. Adamantium and Adamantium resources. Okay, so we don't really need Adamantium just yet, but nice to know. And, uh, well, I guess we'll hang out a turn here. Uh, and here. And just uh, send a probe here and there. And then have you hang around here. Because I want these pirates to be... G oh, jeez. That's nice. Uh, lucky me, I'm not here. Apparently, AI is really bad dealing with these. Ah, so that one is for influence. Nice. Too bad it's not in our influence range, but uh, good to know. So, uh, the AI is really bad at dealing with these pirates, but... I can't really do much about that. It's just gonna be like that. Anyway, um, you guys are amicable uh, not quite friendly yet you guys are also amicable okay fine well that sucks um that sucks pretty badly i guess we need hmm hmm I thought these guys could deal with it, but apparently they can't. What the? What did I do now? Oh, I just got two of these. Did I end the turn? Not really. I told you, you're gonna sleep one turn. There you go. Uh, who are you? Hey there, buddies! Plus four, wow! They're happy people. Even though they really don't look like it. Looks like these uh, warrior races from... Uh, what's what's the face? Um, Mass Effect. Wow. I like you. Be friendly with me. We could race up to 40 right away. But, uh, yeah, let's not get cocky here because they are oh there's another one. Oh, we're praising them already yeah i guess i got dementia and there's another one hey but they're already Ooh, yeah, i guess they are good warriors here um man i'm still under shock like our complete fleet is lost i think the ground invasion will go on as far as I'm aware. Uh, once you deploy your fleets, you don't need to stay in orbit. But this is still going to be an expensive blow. That we have to recover from. Uh, brr. What can we do? Back the upstart or back the opportunist? 20% converted into dust. 15% star system trade value. What does that mean now? I, uh, I hate these ambiguous informations. Does that mean I lose 20% of my food and it's gonna get converted to dust? Or does that mean 20% of my food production is gonna be converted into dust but it's still available for growth? I don't need trade value. Guess we'll just take a little risk. See, there we go. So it's still going on. Whew. 
That was lucky, right? So we're gonna eventually, yeah, there we go. Eventually, we're gonna kill these pirates, and then it's just a fleet that is uh, okay. Um, that is gonna be left to deal with, but that that did suck quite a bit. Ah, hello there. We can now colonize the Baron system. Look at you. I'll actually spend some influence on that, but uh, I don't think we need to bother with that. Just, uh, well, it's not the biggest system of the world, but <laughs> it's, it's a system. Might want to take a look at this first. No? Ah, oh, whatever. We'll colonize it anyway, even if it's a bad effect, right? So let's not be too picky. Uh, you ain't got no probes yet, so I think we'll just fly you over. Well, where do we fly you over, actually? Over here? No. I think you'll just wait a turn until you have more probes. And, uh... What are you? Calergus? So I guess we'll just send you over here. By the time they'll arrive, they will probably still uh, have a lot of probes available. And we should be able to make friends with these guys by just uh, uncovering these anomalies. I think that gives you a bonus with them, but I'm not quite sure, but I think we'll find out anyway in a turn or two. <sighs> Did I mention that sucked? Oh, man. I didn't expect the grave defeat twice. Like at least take down, like, I could... Ah, whatever. It's done now anyway, but... It does suck. Because we're gonna have to spend all that manpower again. Um, at least we got our forces deployed, so we can... There we go. Seize some loot, gain some whatever. Ah, okay. There we go. No more issue, no more pirates, until we... Send one here, and then bring you over there, I guess. Boop. No more pirates. Uh, we just need to clean up the... the fleet that's hanging around, and then we can actually go about our lives again. I guess we go for some more... Actually, you want the command point increase and we'll take it from there tanks wouldn't hurt either if we because uh, you can adjust your I your uh, ground troop types uh, you know what sure you can spend that Hmm, don't really want to spend that yet. Hmm, yeah, it's fine like that. Hmm, okay, can also, okay. I was not aware of that. Huh. Nice, 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 nice. Do we have more? No. Well, no learning new things. Uh, mm, apparently not learning new words. Uh, <laughs> what are you? You're colonizing the Terran system. Oh, I didn't quite... Um, didn't quite get my uh, planetary modernization. We could go for the extra manpower or for the extra approval. I don't know. There's uh, there's really good resources out there. Like we could go for the extra science production. I just don't know. Um, extra of this. Let's see what the market has actually. Super spuds. Um, well, we don't need that. 
Extra dust is nice too. So there's a huge supply of blue cap molds. These would be nice, Eden Incense. Um, get plus two influence per population per planet. That would certainly make our life a hell of a lot easier. And I think you need to spend 25 per modernization, is that so? Yeah, it's 25. Um, hmm. I mean, we have that, we produce it ourselves, so we could... We could get up our Empire approval quite a bit, but I don't think we really need that. We we got the the supermarkets. We got the we got stuff to make the empire happy. Well, kind of. <laughs> Let's see what the text the tech actually offers. Um, okay, so we can get more colonization plus five per system level. Okay. Well being. Okay. Yeah. So I think once we can afford this. We're going to be in the clear. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. Let's see. Can we do that? Huh, nice. Oh, just plane plus five on planets. Yeah, so that's pretty much all we have for approval. That's not too much. It could be worth it to uh, use our planetary level ups. But the other things are just so strong. Plus four per population on planets. What the? I think I want to go for blue cap moles. Just so good. And they're available plenty on the market. You can just buy. 50 maybe? I'll just go for 75 right away. Ah, 50 is good. Like this. Boop. And sell a bit of our... What can we sell? Hyperium. Ten of that. Okay, and then we build up you. Confirm. Can we reset that now? No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> uh, then we can start building up our planets, which uh, we're gonna start here. Just put that in there. It's fine. We're gonna conserve a little bit of manpower anyway. Yeah, and then we can start leveling these up and getting some trade companies and uh, doing all that good stuff, but not anymore. For now, we're going to take a break. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope I didn't screw up this badly this time, except for losing my fleet. But hey, everyone loses a fleet now and then. Thanks for watching. You guys enjoy your holidays and uh, see you around for the next episode.